Jessica, what did the justices decide on this question of can citizenship be added as a question to the 2020 census? Poppy, the justices in this ruling saying for right now at least, the Census Bureau cannot go forward with putting this citizenship question on the 2020 census. That doesn't mean it won't happen eventually, but for right now, as we face up against this July 1st printing deadline, the Supreme Court is saying, hold on, we need more explanation from the Commerce Department about why they want this question added, and we're going to send it back to the lower court. That's the Southern District of New York, the federal court in Manhattan. Uh, this is quite astonishing, really, because of this tight deadline that we're under. Today is July, uh, June 27th, and the Census Bureau had said that it needed to start printing these questionnaires for the 2020 census by July 1st, within a matter of days. But the Supreme Court is saying here that it is within the Commerce Department's right to include a citizenship question under the enumeration clause of the Constitution, which is better known or otherwise known as the Census Clause, which lays out how the census uh, will be conducted, it is within their power to add this question. However, they need to adequately explain it. And one of the key uh, portions of this opinion here, it says we cannot ignore the disconnect between the decision made and the explanation given. And that really points to this question here as to whether or not there was improper political motivation. Uh, in the lower courts, um, we heard testimony, we saw documents. It was unclear as to how exactly Exactly, this decision to add this citizenship question was reached. And then, of course, uh, within the past few weeks, we've seen this other evidence uh, be discovered and be presented at the lower courts. The Supreme Court that I've read so far doesn't exactly address that evidence, but it does raise some question here as to whether or not the Commerce Department, as to whether or not the Secretary, Wilbur Ross, was being yep. completely truthful as to why they added this question. So really, Poppy, uh, this could continue to play out throughout the next few days, weeks, throughout this summer, because this will go back to the court in the Southern District of New York, where they, the judge there will hear evidence. It's important to know when the judge mm -hmm. got this additional evidence from the ACLU, the judge there said, this is disturbing evidence. This is important right. evidence here, but I'm not going to step in because the Supreme Court right. is considering this question. Well, now this judge in New York has the green light from the Supreme Court to reopen yep. this case, to explore this evidence evidence, and then we'll see how this plays out if eventually this citizenship mm -hmm. question is added, but it will not be for now as we face that July 1st deadline. Poppy. And will a decision be made by the time the 2020 census actually does finally have to be printed? Jessica, before you go, right. do we know the count on this decision? Was it a 5-4 decision? And don't worry if we don't know yet. <laughs> There were different counts. There, were, This was affirmed okay. in part as to standing, reversed in part as to some of it. So we're still going through the exact I understand. counts as, as to all those broke down. So we'll get back I, to you on that one. I understand. But it was, you, it was written by the Chief Justice, John Roberts. Okay. okay. Uh, you broke it down so well. I'll let you get back to reading, Jessica. Thank you very much. And jump in when you have more. Jeffrey Tubin to you. Question of motivation and honesty here. Okay. Uh, well, I've now read the opinion, which helps, Great. or at least I've, I've, I've read uh, enough to understand what it is. Basically, um, what the court has done, and it did this unanimously, is they said, back to the judge in the, in the Southern District of New York, and that's a judge named Jesse Furman. He's a mm -hmm. relatively recent appointee to the court by President Obama. And they basically said, look at this issue again because uh, the evidence is disturbing and not entirely uh, clear and, and, uh, just, and we, don't, we don't really know the answer on the issue of political partisanship. But if you read all the, uh, if you look at the full context, it certainly looks like, to me anyway, that the citizenship question at the end of the day is gonna wind up on this questionnaire. If you look at what the more conservative justices wrote, and there are five of them on the court, it looks like um, the, the question is going to wind up on the, 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 the surveys. Now, it is also worth, everything is controversial in this case, including the deadline. Because at one, right. one version of the deadline is that it's July 1st. But another version of the deadline is that it's October. Right. So it is not necessarily the case that Judge Furman in, in New York needs to resolve this by next week. There but is Jeffrey, also another version of the facts here that says the census questionnaire could be resolved in October, not, in, not by July 1st. But, but if, 
This is what? not a total victory for the administration, but it's certainly reading, reading these opinions, it suggests to me that the administration is probably going to win by the time the census goes out next year. Well, but if, if it's the October deadline, uh, if, if the, let's say it's that deadline, which would be the latest one, Jeffrey, you've got this is the end of their term and they're not going to reconvene again until the fall. So would they have, if, if this came back up to the Supreme Court or would the lower court's decision stand? What, my goodness, you mean the Supreme Court might have to work in the summer? Is there so something like That's unconstitutional about that? I mean, it is really an unbelievable thing <laughs> that we sort of take it for granted that the Supreme Court is entitled to take the summer off. Wouldn't right. it be nice for all of us? But okay. in fact, the, the, the next thing that's going to happen is not at the Supreme Court. It's going to go back to Judge Furman in, in New York, and he's going to have to get briefs, hold, probably hold some hearings, and he's going to have to... Uh, uh, address these questions and then it will come up uh, back to the Supreme Court and okay. maybe you know the the precious vacation for the justices will not be interfered yeah. with too much maybe Elizabeth to you what's your what's your read on this do you have the same read as as Jeffrey does that this ultimately may mean that the citizenship question we'll see maybe ends up there yeah I'm not so sure you know I think that with the Supreme Court's decision here, the eyes of America are on this issue like they've never been before. And as the case goes back to the lower court, we're going to see additional evidence, clearer evidence, evidence that frankly the American people will be paying more attention to because of the Supreme Court ruling today. And even before we got this new um, evidence from this deceased Republican strategist that the citizen question was there to help the Republican Party and to empower white voters over voters of color. There was already disturbing evidence in the record that Secretary Ross was not acting in the reasons for the reasons that he put forward to the court. Um, he claimed first that the census officials were the ones who asked him to put the question on the questionnaire. Um, they made clear that that was not the case, that in fact it was coming from the administration to put the citizenship question on there. So there's already a lot of disturbing evidence out there, and I think as even more comes to the fore, as the case goes back to Judge Furman, who has mm -hmm. done a spectacular job in this case, I think that the pressure on the Supreme Court is going to be even greater. And as okay. they face some of the backlash from their Muslim ban ruling, I think they're gonna be extra sensitive here. Ron Brownstein, the final minute goes to you. Look, I, you know, I, this, is, this is just an enormously important decision, uh, one that really gets to the question of how we deal with a changing America. Uh, and I think, as everyone has said, there is going to be a lot more focus on it. And I haven't read the decision, uh, but I would assume this means that the racial discrimination side of it can go forward uh, as well uh, out, of, uh, out of Maryland. So it may be both of these issues uh, coming to the court. Uh, the five Republican appointed justices indicated during the questions they were inclined to let the administration do this. But as Elizabeth said, the evidence is so strong and continuing to come out uh, that it will be an even starker choice if they allow it, if they ultimately allow it, because I'd be surprised if the lower courts allow this question. It will probably be an issue of the Supreme Court overturning them if it gets on to the census this fall. 